At 23 years of age, Nathan Law is Hong Kong's youngest legislator. The student activist says the election of six new pro-democracy candidates is a major coup for activists who are opposed to what they say is interference by Chinese government leaders. And he says they should be worried. I believe that the, that the Communist Party and CRLM himself is getting nervous because of the results. Independence wasn't central to the campaign of the Democisto Party. Candidates who spoke openly about breaking ties with China were disqualified for standing for election. Nathan Law says interference from the mainland angered voters. We believe that Hong Kong people should have its right to decide its future. So independence may be one of the options, even though it's not in mainstream yet. The Communist Party leadership is again warning young activists to abandon talk of breaking ties with the mainland. That call is being echoed by the largest pro-Beijing party in Hong Kong, including one of its newest recruits elected to the Legislative Council. Independence movement does nothing good for the city. So um, I think we, we don't want the city to stir up too much conflict with mainland. The rising tide of this group of young pro-democracy politicians is a headache for Beijing that is unlikely to go away. Many expect the Chinese government to ratchet up the pressure on those parties pushing for greater autonomy. But academics say a further crackdown on this dissent will only fuel the movement across the region. The youngsters, both in Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan, will join together in the future. And that will pose greater problems to China. Not everyone agrees. As far as China as a whole is concerned, the political storm in Hong Kong is at best a big storm in a teacup. Nothing will happen as far as independence of Hong Kong. Some may consider independence an impossible cause, but this enthusiastic group of new Legislative Council members say it's Hong Kong's democratic right to at least debate the issue first. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.